right, and welcome back to my Astro Imaging Journey channel. So now that we've completed the deconvolution, <clears throat> before we convert from linear to non-linear, let's do a little bit more sharpening. And to do that, we're going to use uh, the multi-scale transformation, which was what we used for denoising. So we're not going to use this uh, as it stands here from before. So we're going to go up here, we're going to open up a new one. Oh, that was median, so let's go back. Multi-scale linear transformation. No, it kept the same settings, so we'll just go ahead and we'll do a reset. We're going to leave it starlit transformation and four layers. According to Light Vortex Astronomy's tutorial, uh, we don't want to do anything in one, four, or R. We just want to touch two and three. And all we're going to do is we're going to touch this bias. We're just going to set that to a point 0.1, and this one also to a point 0.1. And that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and apply it. So let me zoom in just a bit here and oh there's one thing I forgot to do. Let me undo this. We need to ensure that the mask is applied. So we're going to pop that on there. Show mask. All right, so we're going to be doing stuff to the structure, so we're going to keep it the way it is. Now let's apply it. Okay, so let's just undo it. And I'm trying to look kind of at these dust lanes here and let's see if it. Didn't do much. But we'll leave it. So I want to create my new icon. Didn't look like it did much, but we're trying to follow like Vortex Astronomy's tutorial, so that was the next recommended thing to do. So that's what we did. And you're just not seeing much, but that's okay. So with that, I'm gonna close this out. And I'm gonna say thanks for watching. See you in the next chapter. And as always, please like, subscribe, and ring that bell. And have a good rest of your day. See you in the next chapter. Clear skies.